take me through those two interceptions because they were two really big plays in this game. Um, I saw on film last night when I was watching that uh, they like to do a little rub route um, in the red zone. So same uh, formation and just jumped it. And then the second one, um, we were in cover three, I think, and I just bailed and I seen the quarterback look, look at him, so I just dumped it again. Were you surprised at all that they kept throwing your, your side? Uh, I mean, I don't blame them. Just look at me, I guess, but <laughs> I'll throw it to my side too. But. <laughs> Yeah. How did it feel to get that shutout? Felt great. You know, I, I tip my hat to the whole defensive staff. You know, they really put us in the right places to, to make big time plays. And you know, look at J Rob here. That's two. That's two picks. You know, that doesn't really happen. So, yeah, I thought we played well across the board. And you know, I feel like you know we were firing all cylinders. So, really proud of the way the guys fought. And you know, getting a shutout is not easy in college football. And we were able to do it. Talk about the mentality you have to have when the offense is kind of sputtering because. You guys had to be on the field for a lot of the game. Yeah, well, something our coaches always are preaching to us is just like, we're going to have their back no matter what. You know, if it's the fourth down, they go for it. You know, they don't get it. We're always going to be there to rally. You know, we're not we're not bickering, not pointing fingers, but it's, you know, we're rallying together. Hey, we got your back. Go for it. Do it. So I think having that mindset, you know, when you face adversity is going to be big time for us down the stretch. Jacob, when you guys had the fake punt that failed, what was the mentality or anything said among the defense when you already pinned inside your 20 when you went out? And just go out, get a stop. That's what we've been doing the whole game. So yeah. yeah. Jacob, you said you saw uh, coming in what what they did on film and it played out on the field tonight. How prepared did Jay have you guys dialed in for what they were going to run? Yeah, I think this is the most prepared we've ever been, mm -hmm. um, just formations wise, and just, we just knew what was coming. Could call it out before it happened. Ben, can you speak to the preparation level as well? Yeah, no, the preparation level was off the charts. <coughs> I mean, I, I and two right he. Our coaches were telling us, like, these guys are going to come in and play hard. So, you know, I'm not as surprised by the score as I think a lot of people are because, you know, we kind of knew going in, hey, these guys are going to come in, compete. They're going to play hard, you know, for them. So they, they had some good athletes as well. I thought, I thought that they played well as well. And so, you know, for us to go get a shutout, that was big for us. Kalani said there were some long faces in the locker room. Maybe just from the player's perspective, can you guys describe what kind of the tenor was in there? Man, uh, I think the offense thought they were going to score more, but, I mean, Everyone has games like that. Just got to play as a team. We'll back them up. And if we have a game like that, they're, I know they're going to back us up. So. Mm -hmm. Ben, when you look at the overall defensive performance, is, is this a statement making game for you guys after considering the struggles you had as a unit a year ago? Yeah, I think, you know, obviously this offseason, there's a lot of question marks, a lot of hype, you know, with the new staff, a lot of, you know, X, Y, and Z, you know, you name it. But, for us to go out there and be aggressive and play the way that our coaches wanted us to play, obviously we're going to go watch the film. We're going to go fix our mistakes, but you know I think we're in a great spot right now moving forward, just defensively. Um, but you know we got to stack you know day after day, and then next week versus SUU, you know we got to do the same thing. So, Jacob, take, talk to me, t tell me about what it's like when you know you're headed out on the field and you see Rico just bombing the ball down the field like he was tonight. What's that like as you guys are getting ready to head out there? Uh, I think it's cool. We had a uh, Marcus at. Punt gunner this week. He's a freshman and he was killing it. So it was just fun to watch him go down and make tackles and get high for him. For either one of you guys, how big of a deal was that fast start? I think Tyler, I think it was, got that sack on that first drive. And then they crossed a the midfield point, like the, the, the midfield marker, I think once in the entire first half. Just getting that first start off defensively, how much did that kind of help? I guess sort of set the tone for the game. Yeah, it helped a bunch. I mean, I think, you know, Jay Hill was or Coach Hill, he was talking to us all week about, like, you know, he was manifesting it. He was talking about it. So for us to go do it, and, like, it was actually, it was cool to see, you know. It was like, you know, he was calling shots, I feel like, you know, early in the week. And so, you know, I think that we gained a lot of trust in him. Obviously, we trusted him before, but, you know, going out and doing what he said we were going to do, it's, you know, I, I have a lot more faith and trust in him and our coaches. So, yeah, getting that, getting that you know, three and out from the jump, it's, it's huge. So, yeah. Ben, you probably don't pay attention to the stats during the game. You guys got a lot to focus on, but you hold the team to 38 rushing yards. You know, when you hear that at the end of a game, how do you just feel like you guys as a whole might tackle tonight? Oh, that's that's so sick. Yeah, 38. Our goal was, you know, keep them under 120. So that was our goal. So we were able to, you know, do do that. That's huge. Yeah, and we played well. I felt like in the front seven, our corners were tackling great too. So I, you know, I was I was proud of the way everybody was playing. And you know, we tackled a lot this fall as well in fall camp and. 
you know, it showed. We went out there, and I feel like we didn't have a bunch of missed tackles. Obviously, we had some breakdowns here and there, but yeah, I thought we played well. So all those tackles and fall were probably on LJ Martin. <laughs> yeah. Was what did you think of his performance? That comes as surprising to you guys. Oh, LJ is the freaking man. I mean, he was dicing us up in the first scrimmage, and you know, he had a big run on me, and I was embarrassed. But you know, going having him go ball out there, I was like, okay, you know, maybe you know, that's that's a little less, you know, my ego. I'm like, okay, this guy's actually piecing up Sam Houston as well. So. Yeah, he's he's gonna be special. I'm really excited to see you know what he does, you know, in the future. Did you guys know how long it had been since BYU had a shutout? Did, did, have you heard? Uh, I was on an earlier interview. They said what, eleven years or nine Le- years? Nine years nine. since the last FCS, and then, and then eleven since FBS. Since shutout an FBS team. Some, hey. So how cool is that to you know get off that and yeah. get that you know get that zero on the <laughs> So cool, man! It was awesome. It was fun. It was fun tonight. Mm-hmm. For both of you, I'm curious. I thought Ethan Slade played tonight, and just kind of how he did back there. He played amazing. Um, I'm used to having him behind because I played with him in high school. So it was just nice to look back and just see one of my high school teammates. I think he did amazing. I just knew if I got beat, then I'd have him or Malik over top. Yeah. So He was my roommate for two years, so he works his tail off. And so mm-hmm. for him to get you know his shot and his opportunity tonight, I felt like he made the most of it. So yeah. um, we have a lot of confidence in East Slave. We see him do it in practice every week. So I'm really excited for him and the opportunities he's going to continue to get. Anything else for these guys? All right, thanks guys. Thanks guys. Appreciate it.